Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your February 2021 general reading. It is a general reading. It won't resonate with everyone. Uh, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscriptions. That means a lot. Please continue to do so. All right, so let's let's move right along into the reading, Capricorn. Let's see what the situation is for you this February. Wow, the sun. Very nice. Positivity, radiance, uh, joy, light, abundance. I could signify pregnancy too. Um, wow. Just the best card in the deck, you know. Uh, purity. Um, just pure in nature is real. Let's see. And... What is the advice for Capricorn this month? I mean, we could just stop there, right? The Two of Swords. All right. So you might need to make a decision. Uh, don't close yourself off to it, whatever it may be. Um, you may be posed with something. Yeah, with a decision that someone needs an answer. Uh, don't close yourself off. Don't guard yourself. It looks like um, you can let your guard down. Um, this, so this might be it. So this card talks about the gestate, the gestation period before newness. Now, some of you, we know gestation, that word can be used with pregnancy. Some of you could be pregnant, uh, either knowingly or unknowingly. Like you, this might be early on. You don't know that you're pregnant. She's got that white robe on and then he's on that white horse yeah, it could be early on. It could be pure. It be oh wow. Okay, so what is the outcome for Capricorn if they take the advice of the card? All right, the Five of Pentacles. All right, so there's some change here. Maybe you feel like you'll be shunned or shut out um, or without. You have lack of confidence in maybe this love affair. Um, I don't know if you feel like you can't. Okay, so the situation is that things are joyous, happy. You could even be hanging with your children or you could be having a children. It says that a decision needs to be made. It might be on your part or the other person's part. If it is on the other person's part, there's something where um, there's a possibility that you could be left out. Um, you could be without an answer. You could be looking for answers. Um, what is the five of pentacles in the outcome? Right. Maybe someone doesn't, they, do, they don't respond or they give you an, the answer you're not looking for. Or there's a lot of pettiness and argument. Um, there's, uh, there's someone inquiring about stalking spying you might even do this because you feel left out maybe stalking spying trying to inquire because you want to make plans to go towards someone you want to shift or redirect your focus of your life of your world um someone has cut you out or cut you off or vice versa you've done this to someone else um i want to pull two more cards here let's see Yo, six of cups and the five of cups. So some of you are stuck on some nostalgic past energy. You're only thinking about and romanticizing the past with a particular person. Um, but you might need to grieve the loss of what has happened and what has transpired. Um, either they need to do this or you need to do this. Two of cups behind this guy. Um, you need to understand whatever happened. It has already happened in this in this relationship right okay so um you need to find some emotional balance here um you may be uh so if so we'll we'll talk in terms of buckets with when we talk about emotions so you got a bucket for love and a bucket for compassion a bucket for forgiveness a bucket for Forgiveness is not is not an emotion, but you had a bucket for 
um, let me say happiness, um, joy, I don't know, but maybe even for grief and hurt, you might be tipping the scale too far to grief and hurt, or you're tipping it too far towards happiness and um, being elated. You need to be balanced so that you can make balanced decisions in terms of this person. You can't romanticize or fantasize about something that is over or something that needs a lot of work to be done in order for it to come back together. You have to be emotionally balanced so that you, you, you are clear of where you stand, how you feel, and then maybe the door of opportunity to talk to the other person or persons involved. You can see where they stand also in their emotions. But you can't tip the scale here because then you're missing um, a big factor here. So maybe that this is you, this is the other person where you're just you're super happy and then you're super sad. And all you could be is super this or super that. But you've got to find find the middle ground and the middle road here. Right? There might be some mental issues or there might be some emotional and or mental issues that might be hidden, covered up, or you that you have surrounded, surrounding maybe a, a, the mother of or your mother. Uh, there's a great desire to reconcile, to salvage a relationship. If you think before you go back in because you might be doing all of the work of salvaging all by yourself in this connection and someone will let you do all of that work by yourself um someone may be very alluring and attractive to you because they're doing nothing in terms of speaking with you being around you they may have even cut you out silence is the best killer it's deadly right so maybe this is how someone is getting you back or getting you to put your energy into getting the relationship back. Um, somebody might be smoking too much weed or doing too many drugs. Um, someone really needs to think about balance in terms of emotions and mental energy. Let's get you some monology cards in here. Uh, February is supposed to be the month of love, and most of these readings have been tough. I mean, they've had tough parts. A personal issue reaches resolution. You could be dealing with a cancer. Nothing is yet set in stone, right? So you, you may want to make sure your hard work is paying off. New Moon and Capricorn. Nothing will come of this situation. Um, I guess if you don't release. And it says, what do you need to release? Um, you, you, you're going to have to see things clearly. Uh, let's get you some. Uh, let me pick that up in a second. Um, some butterfly oracle cards in here. See what you should be focused on or what this reading is kind of uh, focusing on. Thank you for blessing these butterfly oracle cards. All right, butterfly oracle cards. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, body changes, okay. Um, listen to your body. When your body talks, listen. Self-employment. There might be some uncertainty around your self-employment. Changing your mind about... Uh, wanting to be in, wanting to be out. Relationship dynamic has changed. Maybe it used to be that you are married or were married. Now it's it's breaking apart. Maybe there's a separation. The dynamic of your relationship or relationships have changed. You might have, need to engage in some hobbies so you can let out some of that emotional energy that's pent up within you. Welcome the new, the new way of existing, of being. Um, let's see. Let's get you some fortune telling cards in here and see what's going on for you in February. All right. What's going on for Cap? Okay. Unexpected income. This is the first time I'm seeing that card today, which is good. Unexpected income coming in for you guys. Very nice. 
I'll take it. Um, a mature woman. Okay, so this is a, a woman who's been through a lot in her life. She has life experience on her side. She also could be the privileged woman. Okay, um, so this is the woman who maybe doesn't work, or she has a lot of privilege in terms of her well-being, her life, point blank, period. Uh, doors of opportunity are always open to her, okay? Imprisonment. You may be thinking about this woman or this woman is thinking about you heavily. Um, someone feels as if they can't get this person or this situation, this relationship, this business off their mind. Main female. Now we have three females coming up. Main, privileged, and the mature woman. All right, so you may have to deal with some mom issues. Uh, or mom is playing a big factor, big part in this. Or you might be a mom. You might be the main female and also the privileged one. Uh, but there also may be another female here in, in that regard. Okay. So, you've got a lot going on, Capricorn. If you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. You can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question to receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Thank you, Capricorn. Have a really good February and happy Valentine's Day, okay? Bye.